Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's session. My name is Jasmine Joybert, and today I'll be talking about how to advocate um, for yourself as far as succeeding in your career is, is concerned. Many at times when, when, when the word advocates is mentioned, people think about advocating for other people, which is actually very good. But today, let's just see how you can advocate for yourself. What can you do? You know, I believe that no matter how skillful you are, if no one, no one will hire you if they do not know who you are and, and what you can do. So advocating for yourself means that you are trying to intentionally um, influence people to actually know who you are and what you can do. And there are eight practical steps, eight practical ways that you can advocate for yourself to succeed in your career uh, uh, in, in, in whatever that you do. Number one is build professional engaging documentations that communicate your greatest value. So, and this actually depends on whatever you want to achieve as far as your career is concerned. If you're looking for a job, you definitely need to make sure that you have a very good CV, cover letter, and, and, and so on. If you're looking for a scholarship to do a, a graduate program in EA PhD, you need to know how to write a very good personal statement, a motivation letter, um, and, 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 and so on. So you need to intentionally um, build professional documentations that can communicate your greatest value. This is a powerful way to actually advocate for yourself. Number two is master the art of pitching yourself. Many a times when the word pitching is mentioned, many people think about entrepreneurs pitching to investors to actually get investment, which is true. But you can also pitch yourself as a, somebody who desire to grow in, in the corporate world or in their particular career. No one will give you a position just because you presented a CV and a, a cover letter. You have to pitch yourself like an excellent product. You have to present yourself as an excellent product, whether you want to grow in your career as a consultant, as a trainer, as, as, a, as a job seeker who's trying to get a job. You need to master the art of pitching yourself um, like an excellent uh, product that can perform the core uh, um, values. Number three is invest in your social media visibility. Yes, this is a very powerful tool. Social media is a powerful tool that you can use to actually um, advocate for yourself because in social media, anybody can actually find you. You never know what people are looking for on social media. You never know the keywords that you using on social media that can lead them to stumble on your profile on, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, LinkedIn, and so on. Especially LinkedIn, you need to ensure that you invest in your LinkedIn and have a very good profile on LinkedIn that can actually prompt recruiters can prompt people who are looking for talent opportunities to actually find you when they enter in the keywords that define your professional life or the industry that you desire to be uh, um, uh, a respected professional in so you do research on how to improve your social media visibility is a powerful way of advocating for yourself number four is put yourself out there you you, you cannot be in your house from 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 the first of, of the month to the 31st end of the month and you are not anywhere where somebody can find you you're so very comfortable you are not attending seminars you're not attending conferences you're not attending any industry event that can position you where the right people can actually find you. Learn to put yourself out there. Attend online webinars, attend online conferences, but pay for free. Intentionally do that. That's a very powerful way of advocating for yourself because you are not just going to learn, but because you are going there to put yourself where people can find you, people who can either buy what you're selling or people who can actually value the skills that you carry. Number five, intentionally network with industry players. Yes, this is this is very, very powerful in the sense that you can sit down and carry out a thorough analysis and begin to look at in, in my present town, in my present city, who is the who are the movers and the shakers in the industry where I desire to lead. Let's say you want to lead in in, in let's say uh, become um, um, 
a finance expert in the banking sector, you begin to look at in, 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 in the city where you are, who are the bank managers, who are the, the accountants, who, who are the various people that work in these um, financial houses, where do they meet, where do they go for meetings, where do they go for sports, where, where do they go for, um, where do they take lunch, where do they take dinner and so on. Go there and intentionally network with industry players. I'm not saying that if someone will just see you and actually like to connect with you, but you need to make sure that you master how to drive the conversation, which I will talk about it um, um, in, in a moment. So intentionally meet up with industry players, sit down, write down, do, do your research in your industry. Who is, who is who in this industry? Where can I find them? How can I engage them? How can I connect with them? Stop being timid and being afraid. The, the worst thing that can happen when you try to meet up with somebody is that they're going to ignore you, they're going to snub you, which is okay. People have snubbed me, which, which is totally fine. Number six is leverage on internship and volunteering and community service activities. Yes, this is especially for people who are unemployed right now or people who are who have been working and they were laid off and they're trying to get back to work. One of the best ways to, to advocate for yourself is to leverage on, on internships. Stop being comfortable at home and, and, and go, go, go work for somebody, go surf with somebody, go be an intern somewhere. In, in that place, people will you build new networks, you, you, you meet new people, you will upskill yourself, you will upskill your experience and so on. And most importantly, volunteering and community activities this is whereby you can find out it could be healthcare campaigns it could be um, uh, green energy campaigns it could be youth development activities for women empowerment it, it could be uh, um, weekly cleanups for the community get in there be there because you will meet other people who are like-minded and people who can actually endorse you recommend you open doors for you, make calls for you, uh, and, and, and so on. Number seven is build your self-confidence, conversation and public speaking skills. Yes, confidence is, is a very powerful way of advocating for yourself. This is where um, you know, confidence is your ability to, 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 to behave in a way that you believe in your capacity to actually get the job done. And how you talk and how you present yourself actually project um, yourself confidence and conversation is a powerful skill because there's no way that you advocate for yourself when you get to meet these industry experts um stakeholders and, and, and networks it, one of the best way to keep these networks is your ability to drive um, intelligent conversations um, around your industry news industry trends industry um, um, technologies whatever they can think of but be very good train yourself to drive intelligent conversations around key topics that that drive the industry and of course public speaking skills very important for you to actually uh, uh, um, advocate for yourself because your ability to engage the public is a very powerful skill that people definitely respect number eight and know how to flaunt your achievements in a way that position you as a growth contributor yes people love people who have achieved things people love people who have won awards people love people who have produced results people love people who uh, um, enter an organization for example a business example and maybe they were making about a million dollars in sales every month and and, and they're able to take that company from million dollars in sales to maybe 10 million dollars in sales after five years after three years whatever achievement that you have recorded in maybe while you were still in school or while you got got on your first job or while you're in your own business or an award that you won from 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 an organization flaunt it in a way not in a way that um approved shows that you are, you are a proud person but in a way that position yourself as a growth contributor where you where you're you are driving the conversation that look i have been able to achieve these kind of things in my previous position and if i come to if i work with you if i serve with you if i partner with you i'm going to bring this same attitude of producing incredible results for your business or for your project those are the eight ways that you can actually advocate for yourself and to conclude, I would like to tell you, know your worth, flaunt it with all kindness, sincerity, and with the desire to contribute to the growth of any opportunity where you find yourself. And most importantly, avoid to show that you are a proud person. In all, do all of this in all humility, in all kindness, and in all passion and desire to contribute for 
growth. Thank you so much for following the session and do, do share the video, do subscribe to the YouTube channel and do like the video. If you have any questions, leave a comment. If, if there's something that you want me to talk about in the next session, please ask a question and I would definitely handle that. I have incredible articles on my website, jafnijabet.com slash blog. You'll read over 500 plus articles in business, um, um, career, productivity, and much more. Thank you again and see you in the next session.